Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland, and in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now, what I love about this town, it's got that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but above it all, it has a beautiful opening that I love to go to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is my face on record? Have a look here. Hey, what's cracking? Now, I like to think I'm a bit of a modern man in a modern world, kind of. You guys must be too, right? So whether you're a filmmaker, whether you're a composer, whether you're a YouTuber, right? I feel like all three of these things are blending together now. In 2023, it's been building. I think 2024, we need to be adept in all three of these factors, right? You can't just be a musician nowadays and not have to kind of promote yourself via YouTube or via Instagram. You can't be a musician and not kind of create your own kind of viral videos. Likewise, for filmmakers, a lot of the times now we're kind of editing our own audio to a degree before we get someone to make some music or we get some music from Musicbed or something like that, right? So I thought today would be a key point to bridge the gap between the audiences that I have to introduce you to a product that I came across recently, which has been blowing my mind. Check this thing out. So. This here, if you can see the little box, I'm obviously gonna show some B-roll on the screen. This is the PEQ 3000 DT. Bring the shades down. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so Katy Perry today. I'm so. You like that one, huh? That's a good dad joke. I'm so Katy Perry. I'm hot, then I'm cold. So, this thing, right? This is absolutely. This is a dope thing. Now, it is made for compose as well it's made for like you know studio engineers it's for eqing audio right so imagine you've done a voiceover or you've been recording a vocal on a song and then you've got to kind of eq it or any kind of instrument you need to eq it so that it kind of fits inside of the mix if it's a little bit too dull you can turn up the highs and if it's a little bit too bassy you can turn down the bass kind of thing right that's the essential use for this thing but it can also be used in the film world but first i actually want to show you this thing as its entirety. Let me, let me just grab this. Is that making any sense? Let me grab it, one second. Why is this thing so dope? You know what, let me bring you guys over. So this is the unit itself, right? Now, it may look like it's a fixed unit. Hold on, let's get focused. This may look like it's a fixed unit and it can only belong in the studio. Well, that's where you're a little bit wrong because you can pick this thing out and actually it just plugs in by a USB, right? Obviously, I'll show some better B-roll there. I made this little makeshift foam cabinet thingy that just makes them look really cute together, which is which is pretty cool. But anyway, this thing only uses USB power, so it doesn't actually need to be like uh, wired into a studio, like say a unit like this would. You can take this anywhere as long as you've got a laptop, which is where things get really interesting. Okay, so you may be thinking, Charlie, why can't I just use my mouse and EQ and stuff like that? Well, I'm showing you this thing because it's so it speeds up the process dramatically. I mean dramatically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a voiceover, I'm gonna grab some music from Musicbed, I'm gonna throw it on a video, I'm just gonna show you how it sounds standard, and then I'm gonna show you really quickly, just using the actual unit itself, on how you can step up your game and make your voiceover sound way more professional in just a few seconds having a unit like this. Now bear in mind, this is just one of many, many other units, right? So this is one just for EQ. There's others for compression. I've got another one for reverb. You probably won't need that for filmmaking. It makes no sense whatsoever, I think. Unless you're, unless you're doing a little bit of sound design and stuff like that. But I think this may be some compression if you really want to dive deep. But I think the EQ for filmmakers is, oh man, it's a killer, man. All right, so let me load up DaVinci Resolve. You can do this probably in Premiere Pro. I'm not sure, but DaVinci Resolve allows you to install VST, which is virtual instruments, um, which normally the, the music world will be using mainly, but you can put that into DaVinci Resolve. If you're not using DaVinci Resolve, I think you need to get from underneath that rock you've been living under and explore the world that's in front of you because 
there's so much you can do and there's so much time you can save using a unit like this in a free software like DaVinci Resolve. Anyway, caffeine is rattling around in me. Let's just get to the point. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now, what I love about this town, it's got that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but above it all, it has a beautiful opening that I love to go to where you can see a deep, dark forest that opens up to the Alpstein Mountains. All right. Okay, so now we have our voiceover recorded. Now I need to get some music from Musicbit. Okay, I wanna go for something pretty cinematic. Yeah. See? All right, that sounds perfect, but I want the instrumental. Spotless mind, huh? All right. So we have our voiceover, we have our music. Uh, I'm going to throw some video visuals in here at some point, maybe at the end of the video. But right now, I just want to get these two together and see how they work. All right, let's press play. Allow me to introduce you to one of my... Okay, we wouldn't have the audio that loud anyway. It's too loud. So let's bring that down six decibels. Let's go around six decibels. Right, now to make this work, all we need to do is grab the VST plugin, which you would have installed into DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know how to do that, I'll make a video about that in the near future, so stick around for that one. You grab that and you put it on the file you want to edit with, or you put it on the channel you want to edit with, so you can put more and more vocals with inside that channel. Uh, but today I'm just going to drop it on the actual file. And then once we do that, this little machine over here should automatically light up and start working. So let's put it to the test. So over here, you can see my little machine here, my little Midas EQ, PEQ, whatever it's called. Um, but I, right now I haven't put the plugin on. So the plugin's just over here, PEQ 3000. Let's grab that, hover it over the file we want it to go on. And then when we let go of it, let's have a look over here. It should light up our machine. So letting go. Look at that. Now we're lit up on this machine and it looks so good. The craziest thing is, right, as I twiddle these things here, the screen will change so quickly as well. Let's see if you guys can pick that up on the screen here. So we're gonna move that frequency across. So take a look, I'm telling you right now. Can you see that? I mean, look how quick and responsive that is. Right, okay, so let's dive in and see how much better we can make these vocal sound or this voiceover sound in a short matter of time. Well, that's a little bit dusty, yes? I'm not expecting you guys to understand how to EQ professionally straight away, but what I want you to do is just take a look at this screen, yeah? Actually, maybe, let's just get a little tighter shot here. Okay, cool, so now you can finally see what's going on the screen. And uh, if you see this little waveform here, that was the last um, sound frequency, I'm trying to explain this <laughs> the best way I can. That's the last waveform or sound frequency that came up on the screen. So if I mute the music and just solo the voice, Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet. So now we can hear how this microphone sounds standard and it sounds absolutely beautiful. It's such a thick boy, it's so nice. Um, but anyway, let's see how this sits inside of our voiceover. So normally this is kind of what we'll do, right? We'll lower the voiceover, um, we'll lower the music and we'll bring up the volume of the voice uh, thinking that's enough, right? So I've done that right now. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite... Sorry, I don't know why it's stuttering right now. Let's go again. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now, as you can see, or as you can hear, the voice still doesn't sit perfectly with what we're listening to. A lot of people would leave it there and just like, you know, post it. But then all the nuances in the voice gets lost, right? So that's where this comes into play. And let me just show you how quickly this thing works, right? Uh, so on the left side here, we have the frequency. If I move this left and right, you can see there, it's rolling the frequency of that purple one. That purple one is to roll off the low end. If I wanna to switch to say the next spectrum across, I can use that one, it's moving the red. And then if I use the gain here, I can either lift that sound up or I can pull that sound down, 
really quickly, right? And then I can also do that, for instance, I raise that up and on my width, which is a bottom knob dial right here, I can either make a wide sound or a very narrow sound. If there's a particular sound I don't like and I want it out of the, out of the mix, I can get rid of it by just pulling it down, making it very tight, for instance, like that. Right, but let's just start again now and see what we can do to make this sound better. Right, I'm gonna play this through, here we go. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now, what I love about this town, it's got that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but above it all, it has a beautiful opening that I love to go to, where you can see a deep, dark forest that opens up to the Alpsty Mountains. Let's keep on this for you guys. Okay. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now, what I love about this town is that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but it all has a beautiful opening that I love to go to. We can see a deep, dark forest that opens up the Alpsty Mountains. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet. Okay, that was a few takes over, right? Now, if I press this in and in on and off button down here, it basically switches the plugin off. You see how it goes black and white? Press it again, it goes color. So let's tap that on and off and yes. see what improvements we've made or not made. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. You hear now, what I love about this town, it's got that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but above it all, it has a beautiful opening that I love. Now that might sound very, very subtle. That's because I have done it very, very kind of subtly just to fit in the mix perfectly. If I was to be more aggressive and make it really stand out, I can get all the gains that I was working on, all the frequencies I was working on, sorry, and just push those higher. Exactly what I was doing. Like that there, and we've got this one here, which we need to change the shape of. We'll talk about these things in the future, but we'll lift that one up. All right, now this is not what you would normally do for music, but for this voiceover, it may work, and it might make it stand out even more for you. So let's have a listen to that. Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet. Now, as you can see, it's really pushing out too much for my liking now. So I'd like to pull some of this down, and I think that particular frequency there is probably the one. Switch up. Bit better right so let's play it through i'm going to switch it off and then switch it back on again so it's off right now and in particular a local town called appenzell now what i love about this town it's got that quintessential rolling hills beautiful fields but above it all it has a beautiful opening that i love to go to where you can see a deep dark forest that opens up to the alps i mean how easy and how quick was that craziest thing is i can pick this up and I can take it wherever I want, just plug a USB into it, straight into my laptop, and I can get my edits really quick. You don't have to just use this on voice, you can use it on anything else, sound effects, things like that, but just to have this in your bag, oh, it's so much quicker than playing about with the mouse. So that was a really crude, am I crude? Is that the right word? Is that the right word? I don't know if that was a really tiny, microscopic example of what this thing can do right and i've only just started diving into myself but i was just thinking in the film world in like editing especially when you've got to kind of do things as quick as possible that can really really help especially because a lot of the frequencies are already kind of set there ready for us perfectly for kind of like you know voice there's also right so when you do have this unit you also get the plugin so normally people buy the plugin first and then this little thing here it's it's not a kind of a hardware piece it's only ever controlling the plugin right but when you're using the plugin it can slow you down because anytime you're using a mouse you know it slows you down in a way that's why a lot of Pro colorists are using proper pro, pro coloring wheels and stuff like that coloring wheels <laughs> um but yeah, just being able to tweak the audio with your physical hand, just being able to just hear it off the ear, close your eyes, and you can change things around really, really quickly. It makes it more intuitive, it makes it more tactile, and eventually it just it becomes second nature and you do things so quickly. So inside of the plugin itself, there's also presets. So if you're not sure on what you should be doing, what frequency you should be changing, there's presets in there for voice and stuff like that, male voices, female voices. Uh, you can use it as a starting point. Obviously every microphone is gonna be a little bit different and then you can roll off the sounds you don't like or if it's not sitting properly with inside the, the effects and the music and everything, you can just start to pump up that higher end that you saw me do. 
So I hope this video was intriguing. Um, and if you are just kind of stepping up your desk area and you want it to be a bit more professional, it's a nice looking object, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I wanted to introduce that to you guys. I'm loving it. I'm going to keep using it. I want to make more and more videos about this thing particularly, but I thought it'd be a nice introduction to you filmmakers in your home environment. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. That's a new one. Is that when you knock it out of the park? Like... Allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite locations on the planet, Switzerland. And in particular, a local town called Appenzell. Now what I love about this town, it's got that quintessential rolling hills, beautiful fields, but above it all, it has a beautiful opening that I love to go to, where you can see a deep, dark forest that opens up to the Alpstein Mountains.